on the wings of angels. Heaven letter number 5913. February 1st, 2017. There is no decree that says you absolutely must finish everything you start. There are things that you can drop. You don't have to prove your good character. There are times you can stop in the middle, or, perhaps, momentum will be so strong that it continues to carry you forward no matter what, and you just can't get off. In any case, don't dally in life. Make a decision. Dear ones, don't keep the world waiting. One way or another, you are to move on. You are on the forefront of the universe, and you move right along. The purpose of life is not to delay it. Slow and steady is not always wisdom. Nor is haste makes waste always so veritable. Instead of the idea that haste makes waste, have the idea that haste gets the job done. Now, have we gone full circle with momentum? Not yet. Momentum is the fuel you run on, and momentum is the fuel the world runs on. Momentum is momentous. It is not necessary to whip momentum into a froth. Keep up with it. Run along with it. Look to the inside. Listen to the puppy that you hear barking. What does your heart say? Regard your heart. Believe in your heart. Sometimes when you don't dare believe in your heart, dare to follow it anyway. Your heart may well be better qualified than your suspicious mind. Ultimately, your heart and my heart are one. My heart, my consciousness, and my mind are one. At present, your mind tends to be a wayfarer, a wanderer. Your personal mind is more like a butterfly that flits here, and flits there. It's not so hard to catch your mind's attention, but to keep your mind's attention is a horse of another color. At the same time, who takes a dim view of letting your mind be free to go where it has to go? The mind does not have to be a captive. Who said it did? You never know where your mind will zoom to. It will zoom. And you may zoom with it. Hold on to your hat, your head, your heart, your mind. Your consciousness will go along with you anyway. How do you, in the midst of life, or on the rim, how do you know what's what, and what do you care? It is life you are leading, and life is leading you. You may think you are leading cows to the barn, yet you may be whirling around the center of the universe in a yet unnamed galaxy. Or, it could even be that you are asked to give names to as yet unknown galaxies. When it comes to this, who cares what the pay is? Accept the position. Who knows with certainty your true name? And what does it matter when you yourself are true? Life on Earth is not intended to be a false front, yet sometimes it might. Sometimes, instead of paddling your own canoe, you are paddling or peddling a fragile ego. This is for no one's benefit, yet, even so, this uphill ride could be worth a ditty. Certainly, you are worth more than a song. There is no song worth more than you. You yourself could be worth the song of the universe, and you do not know this. It would be good for you to know this. How do you know that when you dream you are flying, that it is no more than a dream? How do you know that you are dreaming you are flying or whether you are actually flying, and I ask, what does it matter whether it's actual or assumed? Either way, you gain great joy. Anyway, if your unseen wings should falter, here I am to catch you. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org